So, so Dexalon's a, a PPI, a proton pump inhibitor. It was the seventh proton pump inhibitor that was introduced to the market. And so how was Dexalon going to distinguish itself in, in this crowded marketplace where everyone thought they knew what a proton pump inhibitor did? But it had this one significant difference in that it was two releases, right? Two releases in one pill. One earlier on in the day and one later on. New technology in the PPI world. When we got the creative brief, to tell the mechanism of action story in a memorable and distinct way. We knew that we couldn't just tell a linear story. Not all clinicians understood the value of a dual release proton pump inhibitor. It was very touchy with doctors, right? Because it's pretty basic medicine. Not all pumps are active at the same time. Some of them kick on later in the day, which is important because some of those other PPIs were already exiting the system a little bit. And so we had to make the idea of this pump activation important. But the challenge that we quickly realized is if you were aware of the idea that not um, all parietal cells were active throughout the day, then we had a really quick MOA story. We could tell it for you in a matter of seconds. However, if you didn't know that, you had to go back and understand that full story, and then we could talk about our mechanism of action. We had talked about doing some kind of immersive mechanism of action experience. And we wanted the user to be able to pick in the moment which option was gonna work best for them. Initially, we had planned to do some sort of like fake virtual reality. An interactive surface on three walls. Then, I'm not sure who it was, but somebody on our team just suggested, oh, hey, what about this new Microsoft Surface table? Back then, Microsoft Surface was a coffee table-sized, multi-user, multi-touch, device. We thought, ooh, that's kind of perfect. You know, we could trigger different animation sequences with different gestures or with a Dexalon pill model. You know, we could put the pill on top of the screen and then you could watch as the granules actually animated out on the screen and then sort of flick the granules into the parietal cells to then shut down the acid. That was a really fun, interactive way that was literally hands-on for clinicians. You know, plus the art director thought it was really cool, so. <laughs> Well, anytime you bring a new idea to a client that's never been done. You know, we weren't really sure we were going to be able to sell it to the client. They were kind of skeptical about it. It's cool. That's great. But we knew that it would really help bring this boring story to life. And sure enough, it, it made a difference in those events. We had an overwhelming response at the booth. You know, the healthcare providers that were coming through were having so much fun playing with the pill and the Microsoft Surface that at a certain point they had to have what we affectionately called bouncers outside the stomach. To just kind of, you know, help with crowd control. Okay, you've had your time. Uh, move on and, and let somebody else come in and, and play with it for a little bit. Interacting with the Surface in such a complex and unexpected way really resonated with an audience that we haven't seen before or since. What this tactic did and what the booth did is really bring the MOA to life and gave them a reason to understand why the proton pump inhibitor class needed two releases of medicine.